Hi, Dave here. The sun's been pouring its energy on this planet for as long as man can remember. It helps grow our food, create the weather patterns, but it also helps raise our utility bills in the summertime. Now you can harness the sun by using a variety of solar appliances, like a solar air heater to help heat you in the wintertime, solar cooker to get the heat out of the kitchen in the summertime, and a solar water heater to help heat your water year round. Now, here we have a model active hot water system that we made in shop here to show the basics of it. So this collector is a little bit smaller than what you're going to see on a roof on a residential system, but it gets the basic components. We have glazing, an air space between the glazing and this black metal collector plate that's underneath there. Now, as the sunlight penetrates, it gets trapped like, the, you know, like your car does in the parking lot. It gets really hot and this metal then gets hot. Of course, it's absorbing the heat. And we're pumping either water or an antifreeze solution through here. Now, this whole system is activated by a heat sensor that says, hey, it's hot out here, let's get a pumping. So then this hot fluid is pumped into your home through a variety of pipes and ends up in an apparatus that's called the heat exchanger. In a heat exchanger, we have a, a coil of pipe that, that, that hot fluid is circulating through, and then your water that you use in your home here is surrounding that, it picks up that heat. So when you draw it off at the tap, you know, you're not having to preheat it by any means, you're getting that heat right from the sun. Now, of course, this system here is kind of miniaturized. Systems you'll find on a home are much larger, a little more involved than this. Uh, but there's a lot of resources out there that you can educate yourself about these systems. You can go to the public library, you can go online. There are many uh, magazines out there like Solar Today, Homeowner Magazine, there's a Home Power Magazine that's really good. The one thing I want you to bear in mind though with these systems is that this is one of the ways you can utilize this free energy source to help offset your utility cost. As you have a system like this on your home, you know that every day you'll be gathering hot water and lowering your energy costs. And these systems have been known to last 20 to 30 years, so you can get a long time there to pay it off. Now, your payback period will be determined by your family size, how your roof is oriented, uh, how much hot water you use, those kind of things. But they will pay themselves off in a period of time, and there's no other investment that you can guarantee yourself that kind of savings. Now, the other thing that's happening is that we have a federal tax credit up to the year 2007 that'll help uh, take 30% of the cost of the systems onto your tax docket if you want. And if that's not enough, Columbia Water and Light offers you a low interest loan to help you put one of these in your systems. So call Columbia Water and Light for a free evaluation to see if your home and household could use a solar water heater, and then you'll be heating your water with the sun. This is Dave Mars with Conservation Tips. I'll see you next time. Thank you.